provincial, our new provincial government, which we're very excited about. Uh, and we're going to give her a few minutes on the agenda here. Brothers, sisters, friends, and neighbors, the Honorable Patty Hyju, Federal Minister of look at this, Employment, Workforce Development, and Labor. It's such a joy to be here with you on the traditional territory of the Coast Salish people uh, to celebrate Labor Day. And uh, I want to, you know, congratulate so many of my Liberal colleagues, MPs, there's five of us, I think, six of us, including me, that are here today. Um, also colleagues, uh, NDP colleagues that are here. You know, that's because I think our party knows the value of a strong labor movement. And when we look back, you know, your pre the speaker just before me talked about the history of the labor movement and why it's so critical to the goals that we have as a liberal party, as a government, to a strong middle class. It's really the foundation of a healthy middle class. The labor movement, as our previous speaker said, we're the ones that fought for decent wages. We're the ones that fought for pensions. We're the ones that fought for work, safe workplaces. And I can tell you that those are the kinds of things that we know are integral to a strong and healthy economy, a strong and healthy middle class, and to a, to a population that has hope for the future. So last year it was my honor to be uh, to take over from the previous minister and shepherd C4 through the House and the Senate, and with all of the help of Labor, we were able to ratify C4 for restoring the rights to unions to grow their memberships and to make sure that they had the next generation coming up into a union movement that is critical to healthy societies. We were also able to ratify ILO 98 in Geneva, the final a foundational convention that ensures the rights of people to organize and to bargain. And, you know, yeah, and it's important. It was a, it was a really important commitment to our international partners that this is a value that we recognize all across the world, and it's a foundation to moving forward in trade and and trade that's inclusive. You know, the other thing that we're doing that I'm really excited about is our investments in in unionized labor uh, training, and so that's for equipment, but it's also uh, to bring new people into the union the union movement, people that haven't traditionally been represented, women people, uh, indigenous people, newcomers, people with disabilities. Uh, today is, uh, I think tomorrow is the final day for proposals. We're really looking forward to the proposals of unions about how to bring an entirely new group of people into a union movement. And why is that important? Because it actually echoes the issues of equity that labor movement has fought for over many, many decades and generations. But also, it strengthens the labor movement. Because one of the things that we've seen in Canada is a decline in, in organized labor. And when you bring new people in and you train them in a unionized environment and you allow for them to understand the value of working together, the value of a collective voice, that's how we grow and strengthen this movement. So I want to thank all of you for what you do every day for the workers of this country and know that you have a partner here at the federal level. We believe strongly in the value of organized labor and we're so thrilled to be here working with you side by side to make Canada a prosperous country for everyone. Thank you. Minister Haidu.